Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are into investing and you want to study how different sectors take a turn, how are they moving with respect to a certain index, let's say Nifty 50, then this video is for you. We will be talking about relative rotational graphs and RRR are essentially a tool to help you study different sectors, even individual stocks and commodities, other assets, etc. And basically what you can do is you can use this to compare how a certain sector stock is moving in a period of time with respect to a benchmark. RRR is a two-dimensional graph with x-axis representing the relative strength ratio and the y-axis specifying the momentum. The key element of the graph is this is how a graph typically looks like. So you have four different quadrants. One could be weakening, other is leading, then you have improving and then the last one is I believe the last one is called my bad lagging sorry so leading weakening lagging and improving so going back to the article you can study and understand and interpret how rrr works fundamentally there's a cyclic nature which has been seen and the idea is you should see a stock or a sector moving from one quadrant or one zone to another in a cyclic nature so something could be moving from weakening to leading depending on the benchmark baselining with the benchmark depending on the strength and the momentum so sometimes the momentum could be decreasing so it could enter a lagging zone and sometimes both could be going up it could enter a leading zone the intent of this video is not to give interpretation however to walk you through code and i'm pretty sure you guys will be able to do the interpretation yourself so let's get this started so the first thing which we'll do is import few libraries, Pandas, Yahoo Finance, NumPy, and Matplotlib as standards. I've added a little bit description in the notebook. So the four quadrants are leading. Sectors in this quadrant essentially have a strong relative strength and momentum because they are leading and they are outperforming the benchmark essentially. You really want to pick things in here or if you are more into a value kind of style, you want to pick things that have been trajectorily moving in this space so that you can find some sort of you know bull run around this weakening essentially implies that sectors in this quadrant have a strong relative strength but weakening momentum they are still outperforming but their momentum is slowing down so they it might not be good now depending on the time period you are looking at you need to judge this. Sometimes you could be looking at a three month momentum or a 21 day or relative strength. So all of that combination has to be factored in when talking about this. Lagging sectors have weak relative strength and momentum and they are underperforming the benchmark and are negative. Improving would be weak relative index strength but improving momentum. And the tail for each sector shows its rotational pattern over a time frame. Uh, ideally, sectors rotate in a clockwise manner from leading to weakening to lagging to improving and back to leading. So there's a cycle happening. So from lagging, they would go to improving and then, you know, they'll go back to leading. So what I've done is written some sample code, Python. This is a complete code. You can take a look at it, implement it, and you should be able to get the charts. There can be optimizations done on chart and improve the quality of the chart. However, this will still work. So you, I have added different sectors like Nifty, Auto, Bank, FMCG, IT, Media, Metal, Realty, Energy. And I have downloaded the data for all of them for about uh, one year or so. So this is like one year, three months data. So roughly about one trading year worth of data, which should give me an enough direction sense. Then what I've done is just simply cal taken the benchmark as Nifty 50 index and I have downloaded it for the same period of time. Now what I'm doing is doing the calculations. This is the core part of the code. Essentially, I'm creating few variables. RS relative strength, MOM momentum, previous RS just to store a bit of previous information of time steps and previous momentum. Look back 21 days. So for each sector and prices in the data, I am calculating this. 
So there's a three month relative strength and one month momentum that is calculated. And we are saving the previous values iteratively. All right. Now here is a interesting code, which is relatively long. I do not take credit for it. This is generated using generative AI, Claude. And uh, what I have is you, I'm, I'm plotting using a different library called Plotly. Usually I do static plots using matplotlib. However, I really wanted to gain a sense of visualization and interactiveness in this. I am going to work on improving the quality of visualization in this later. So basically there are different colors specified. You have created the object, you have added some quadrant lines, you have defined the quadrant labels, and then you have added the sector data points, whatever is, you know, if there's missing values, etc. And then you add the benchmark data point and you center it to absolute as a zero. And then you have added some layer. So this is what you get as a relative rotational graph for Indian stock markets. And uh, you know, the momentum being one and improving being one minus one, etc. What we can do is get zoomed into and we should be able to see what is happening where. So something was minus 23 before and now, okay, this is the axis on momentum and uh, the relative strength. This is the X and Y, it's showcasing where we are. So relative strength is minus and uh, so this is now in a leading category. Now what I realized with this chart is that while this is a great visualization, it's not giving me a sense of direction. So I've added a little bit more nuances and I have updated the chart to show direction and arrow. So now you are starting from here and moving it to here. So this is giving you a sense of direction. Now can there be improvements in this? Yes. I think due to limitations in the charting library and my understanding, I'm not able to find a more curved path. Ideally, this should not be a straight line if we look it over a decent period of time. And it would be very interesting to see how different sectors have performed over the past 10 years if I can get the data for it. Finally, a simple static plot or uh, showcasing the same thing. This is not working out great. Uh, so I will not essentially talk about it, but if you want to take a snapshot or like a image of a static image instead of interaction, interactive one, you can do that using Seaborn as well. Uh, the plots are relatively complex, so I will not get into explaining the line by line plot. However, you can use this code and play with it a little bit and eventually you should be able to tailor it. Down. All right, that's it from this video in QuantLab. If you have enjoyed this conversation, give a thumbs up, put in a comment, what do you want to see more? Share my channel so that it reads the right set of people. Bye-bye.